JD here to all of us, and as you can see, we're on something completely different again today. This is a game called Cartcraft, a game that I played for the very first time last week, and I have to say, I was absolutely blown away how immersive this game felt to me. And I used to compete in kart racing for well over 10 years, both in the British and the European Championship within the Rotex category. And the tracks we have here, one of them being Genk, is a track that I've actually competed at in the European Championship. And that was back in, I think, 2009. So today, like we do with real F1, or on the F1 game, sorry, we're gonna see how close we can get to the world record and I really want to try and improve my speed in this game first before we dip into the world of online which has actually just been activated on this game so please please like the video if you enjoy me playing different games uh, especially this one please keep recommending me which ones I should try next Ateta Corsa Compizioni is coming very very soon it has been downloaded i can confirm but yeah please like the video really helps me out and really lets me know that you actually enjoy watching this type of content so exactly like i do when i try and improve at the f1 games we're gonna dip into the time trial here and really try and improve my raw speed so this might be a little bit of a longer video potentially but you will see the progress that we make and when I did this track last time, last week, I did it in my second race in that video. I think I did like a 58.3 as my fastest app. So again, it'll give you a true perspective and insight on how much you can improve in a very short space of time. So there's gonna be a lot of raw footage here because I really wanna bring you on this journey. Having improved the uh, graphic settings as well, so you might notice there's a little bit of a better detailing here and you also might notice we're actually racing someone on track so the format of this time trial game mode on this game is a little bit different to what well, it is in f1 2021 and you're about to see exactly what i mean so this is our first time lap that we are doing here now let's see what we can do and you can see the ghost we're going against is not particularly a competitive time and i've adjusted my force feedback settings a little bit just so the car's not quite as twitchy along with the car setup which we will be seeing as we go through this video coming through into here going out wide and typical fashion get an invalidation on our first pop up no different to f1 doesn't matter what game i play we seem to be getting an invalidation and i promise you again as i always say i never do these on purpose but I was really excited to see how much I could improve because I just absolutely just love the feeling, love the visual aspect of this game. As you come across sign, it's a 57.8. So you're going to continue once again. A lot of people have pointed out to me that there are games such as Automobilista, if I said that right, too, which is even more immersive, and a game called Kart Sim. That is an actual full simulation kart game. So I will definitely be trying those games out as well. But for now, especially since the online has been released, my next video I'll do on this will be an official online race because I would be very, very excited. And I haven't done karting competitively in you know, at a national level for over 10 years. So it honestly, sounds and feels so so similar to what i used to drive so that's why i'm just so so excited and you will see again we are just driving with a smile on our face as we're driving in this because the force feedback was absolutely amazing on this game it feels so so nice and you can see here it's kind of like a knockout format where you beat your rival and he gets the uh defeat or shame or whatever you want to call it um little animation there so we're going on again 
we've got a new ghost this time. This time it's at a 56.8. And you will see throughout this video, we started to adapt quite nicely to the game itself. And as I said, I've driven this track many, many times in real life. And the feeling wasn't actually that different. It just felt so, so amazing to play. And... The key in karting is to try and open up your steering wheel as quick as possible. So that's why you see many, many on boards of POV karting that they're barely uh, turning the steering wheel. It's very, very small movement you want. You want it to be as straight as possible all the time. And Genk, this track here, this was pretty much the home track of Max Verstappen as well. You see many videos of him on YouTube going around this circuit. So it's a very, very popular track. And for good reason, as we easily smash this guy. You can see again, hang your head in shame, the pink helmet. And now we proceed on to our next one. But before we do that, we're just going to run through the setup options for you. So you can see we've got the front right scrub radius, creases the front end of the car pretty much. When I was driving, the only thing I really knew was about the sprocket, which we will see in the uh, drivetrain. See front left caster, front right caster. This increases uh, the front end bite and the jacking. Left right height, front right height. Uh, doesn't really give you an explanation there, but you can change it to high, medium, or low. And this thing at the bottom is a torsion bar, which increases the stiffness, will increase the front end grip, and will also increase the rate of inside rear wheel jacking. So, a bit of playing around with. No expert on the setups here at all. And so if you are an expert, please, please comment down below what a good baseline setup is typically. But you'll see as we move on to other parts of the setup, we've got the driver here. Seat position, longitude. Um, this is really just the weight balance of the car. In real life, a lot of people like to have the weight distributed at the back. So a lot of drivers tend to lean back. And that actually really, really helped with the stability and traction. And you can see here the sprocket teeth here. Um, adjusting this is very, very sensitive, both in real life and the game. Um, vice versa, whichever one you decide, it can really increase the acceleration or the top speed. So it can become very, very uh, boggy if you choose the wrong setting, and um, where it's going to be very fast at the top end speed, but the acceleration will be very slow. And then sometimes it'll be too fast in acceleration, and then it will just be basically revving out too quickly. And you'll see these changes, I think, this is something that we are about to see here. So I adjusted the sprocket so there'll be a bit better acceleration. But you can see here now, if you listen to that, the car is just too many sprocket teeth, uh, pretty much. So you'll see against this goes here. This is a 56.5. I think we did a high 56 or mid 56 ourselves. And there seems to be an awful lot of players online as well, which is really really nice to see but you can see if you look at that delta on the top left and the straight line you can see in the acceleration we gain a lot of speed so gaining a ton of speed and acceleration but you're very very quickly up to your maximum speed when you're in a cart such as this so as you can see coming off here good acceleration but then at the top end we are just losing too much time on the straight and we're about to see a good example of this here going to this last corner absolutely love this last corner at Genk it's so so satisfying to drive you can see good acceleration but then very quickly we're losing speed in a straight line so I knew instantly that that was the wrong uh, setup choice so we're gonna go back into it this time uh, with a bit more of a default setup you can see this time we're not losing as much in a straight line so coming through into turn one trying to get a good exit trying to open up the steering and this is something you actually want to do on f1 itself you can see here now about one and a half steps down flat out through into here and opening up the steering to really really key you can see lost time on the apex but really good acceleration coming off this corner now coming into here avoiding this curb which you will see why later you want to avoid that curb and then coming through into here doing this actually pretty nicely so it's all about carrying momentum in karting. Coming up through into here, into this final sector, going past the clubhouse, which is absolutely massive. Using all of the track on the exit. 
going to this final corner. I tend to do this quite well, but this time wasn't too bad. But you can see the acceleration again. The acceleration! It's going to get us to be enough to take the W on this time. So, progress was going very nicely. And I do quite like this format where it's constantly putting you against a, another ghost all the time. However, I hope there's probably a setting where you could just keep on doing lap after lap and you don't have to keep restarting because sometimes it could disrupt your momentum. But you can see here now, gone down to a 56.1 and we were just improving all the time. And this is something you will find. You will find that there's no way you can go half a second quicker. But if you improve by half a tenth every corner, it quickly does add up and once you hit that lap time that you thought you couldn't achieve it's exactly what i say when i'm trying to achieve world records on the f1 game you get through that plateau and you just give yourself the confidence and you can sit kind of through it to here we do our first 55 so 55.8 world record is still a 54 zero though which is absolutely nuts so i think there's a lot of work to do on the setup as well and now we are coming against this guy. So we are making really good progress into this stage. So into the 55. So almost three seconds faster than I was doing last week already. Which is good to see. But then once you get to your potential for the day. That's when you start to hit a few roadblocks. So I always encourage you to just keep on going as much as you can. But don't grind yourself out. Like I only did this for about 50 minutes. I think that's plenty of time. Anything over that, for me personally, that's when I start to get a bit you know, fatigued mentally. And it's always good to step away, reset your driving habits, and then go again later or maybe the next day. So, yeah, for me, once I'm approaching that 50 minute mark, that's when I kind of get stuck in a driving pattern and it's a bit difficult to get out. But Coming through here, we're still in good shape at the moment. Going green at this moment, but just going a little bit wide here. So, yeah, a little bit distracting uh, with this ghost, but I'm sure there is a setting where you could turn it off. Many people, I'm sure, would find this uh, quite useful. So, coming through into here, this sector is a very, very tricky sector. And in this car, you really want to try and keep it on the throttle as much as possible, because if you're going off the throttle here, and yeah. We have just been punished. So we're going to keep on going. Always encourage you not to restart your lap. Otherwise, you don't really start to develop that consistency in the lap. So we're just going to keep on going. As much as you can. Turning tighter this time. So this time, much, much better for you to take half a turn up. Going flat out into Zatanna. Going into his head. Taking a nice ride. Opening up the steering and getting a pretty decent exit. But he gets a slightly... Better one coming through into here, carrying more speed into here. So that was done absolutely almost perfectly. Trying to carry speed, nice wide line, then carry the speed into here. What do we do here? Do we get a good exit? So opening up the steering, and it's not as good exit as we did before. But I know for this last sector, I could gain a little bit more time. So going through into these last two corners, gaining a lot of speed through this left hander. Now turning it nice and early into here, then open up the steering for the exit. Stay so nice and tight. And we are going to slightly improve. It's a 55.7. So very small improvements. But that's what you'll find. You'll find that you'll improve very, very slowly. And then once it clicks, it clicks. And it was really, really starting to click for me. And you can see we're about a tenth down. Going into this last corner, I think we're just going to make up all this time. Staying nice and tight. And the answer is yes, we do make up the time and just improve by one thousandth of a second. So it's progress, not perfection. Perfection can come later. This is only my second day of playing this game. So global ranking on the TT is 223rd. But in the UK, where I'm based, it's 32nd. So pretty happy with this progress so far. But now we move on to our next rival. Let's see what the lap time is to beat. It's going to be, as we're crossing the line now, it's going to be a 55.783. So literally a thousand faster. It seems to be there's like a thousandth difference between each position. So a lot of people have 
played this game, which is pretty, pretty cool to see. But we're just going to try and warm up first. So again, don't restart, even if you're two tenths down or something, because you can always make up time into other sectors. So even if you've done, made a mistake in the first part of the lap, try and perfect the rest of it. And yeah, that's why you don't want to touch the curb. Because then that happens, and that has actually happened to me in real life. I actually broke my wrist doing that, so really don't recommend you to be mounting the curbs like that. So come through it here, and yeah, definitely don't do that, because in real life that would have been much, much worse. So coming through it here now, let's see if we can improve on this lap. So these are real people that we're going against. Coming through into here now, opening up the steering, and... Yeah, turning a bit too much there, but getting a pretty good launch through into here. So going completely flat out, taking a slightly wider line. And then this guy opening up the steering, so bogging down just a little bit. So it's always about carrying that momentum. That is the absolute key. Coming through into here, going a little bit wide again. So this isn't a great lap so far, but it's all about just trying to perfect the rest of it. So coming through into here, we are about six temps down on our sector but then coming through into our sector i knew there was actually even more time to make up so you can see for the delta still about six steps down what do we do going through into this last corner absolutely nailing it so being much much tighter and gained about two temps back so that's why i always encourage people to keep going to know where you can prove in other sectors so then when you do get to that sector it isn't alien to you because if you keep restarting on that sector one keep, keep doing that then you'll kind of lose your really sharpness for the rest of the lap but this time carry much much better speed we know there's about two temps in the last sector as well so doing this very nicely carrying the speed through here so again very very good nice and wide try and avoid this curb just kissing it slightly and almost losing the cart here but opened up the steering nicely using all of the exit curb now coming to a clubhouse corner doing this pretty okay at the moment so losing a bit of time try and carry the speed through it here but we know there is time to find going into some sentence just keeping it really tight again very good exit and we are going to beat this guy so 55.650 but we're not done yet we still want to improve the goal was to try and beat this man Barry Boroman, who is an F1 esports driver, and I know that he is a very, very good kart racer himself. I think he was the Iranian champion multiple times, so definitely expect him to be good. So, coming through into here, this is only my second lap against him as well, so we managed to do this very, very nicely in this first sector, and this is a really, really good first sector, almost a tenth up on our best. Coming through into here, taking a nice wide line again opening up the steering and we get a not as good exit so we lost about a tenth going through it here but now breaking really really turning really good. he's trying to carry the speed coming through into here and this we did this pretty well on this lap no there's a lot of time to make up on this corner and we do do that so we've gone up almost a tenth up through the corner nice and tight through into here doing this very nicely try and stay nice and tight for the penultimate corner carrying the speed through into here almost a temp up going to last corner and absolutely almost perfecting that last corner keep it nice and tight and we are going to do that 55.489 dethroning speed bari he used to be called gg to him but we are still not done 146th overall but now this is the fastest lap we did today so Coming into here now, turn one, just in a 55.7. Let's see how much faster we can do. So getting a pretty, not a great first sector so far, but the second part is pretty nice. So we're about 700 down on our fastest time. But how do we do it? Using all of the track, opening up the steering. And that was a very, very good exit. So slightly improved, but still about 700 down. But going through it here, carry all the speed for it. Look how much time we made. Going up through into this section, avoiding the curb as well. Have to stay tight for this corner. It's better to carry the speed in, get a good exit. 
and lost a bit of time overall, but going through it here, nice and tight this time. Can we stay tight into the court? Yes, we can. And going into the last court, can we do this really well? And going through it here, opening up the stairs, a really amazing exit coming through to here. One and a half tenths up, and it's a 55.342. And for me, that was enough for the day. And I was really really happy with this progress so you can see the guy our next rival is only one thousand for head so it seems to be like one thousand between each person which is absolutely nuts we decide to go for a barrel roll once again and yeah you can see we're still smiling because it just felt so amazing it feels so amazing to play a game like this the force feedback honestly is incredible it feels like i actually am in the car but we managed to come 114th in the global leaderboard and then 17th in the national i really hope you enjoyed this video please give it a like if you want to see more content such as this and on different games thank you for the support on the channel and before we go as well i just want to give a special shout out to some extra rotation members who have recently joined so thank you left lou harry cox dwight chow peace of mind forza shimmy joshua the high knee reggie s Don or DGN Yo, Mitty MIT, Vine Racing League, and Hacking William. Thank you so much for joining the Extra Rotation Club, and I will be catching you very, very soon. Peace.